John, do you, a week off after the Swinton game in terms of, of no game yesterday as we, as we speak, here we are on Monday evening. Um, look back at the Swinton game, good second half comeback, but was it disappointing to find yourselves 14-0 down? Yeah, obviously it is with any game when you're 14 down, but credit to Swinton. I, th I think Swinton's a good side. I said before in the lead-up that they're, a, they're a hard team to break down and we weren't the best in the first 25, 30 minutes, but I thought the back end of the first half and all the second half was how we needed to be all the game and, and we were fully in control, I thought, other than a couple of penalties that let them out of their half in the second half. Uh, the, the lads just showed when they, when they stick to the game plan, we, we'd have to beat, you know what I mean? But we're workmen like ourselves and I thought our discipline was better. Uh, yeah, and, and fair play to Sweden. We were on their line a hell of a lot. We had a lot of good ball sets and they just kept turning up and turning up for each other, which, which I expected. But we just, in the end of it, we just got over the line and, uh, and got the two points called for the flyer. You mentioned that obviously what, what you expected from Sweden and that was exactly that. They were working on life, they'd done the basics well. You mentioned probably the only thing they struggled with was, was, was the discipline, which was maybe their downfall in the end. But, um, you know, it's what they've been for the last couple of seasons since they've come up. They've, they've worked hard, they've worked hard for themselves and it was, uh, like you say, you must have been happy to, to get it turned around because at one point, like you said, they, were, they, they, they looked like you weren't, weren't going to be able to do it. Yeah, right? especially after we've been, how we've been the previous couple of games at Workington. Uh, we hadn't been the best, so when we were 14 nil down after 15, 20 minutes, whatever it was, it could have been so different, but fair play to the lads. They showed a hell of a lot of character to, to get back in that game and then, like you say, we maybe could have had another try before half time, but 14 6, I thought, was maybe uh, he put us, a, put us a foot in the door, didn't it? And we kicked on in the second half. Loves to looking in, into that second half. I'd like say it was exactly what you've wanted throughout pre season. It was a performance where it, there was very little errors despite the conditions. I mean, it wasn't wet, but it was really muddy, the pitch was soft. So it's like you say, it's what you've been wanting for the entirety of pre season. And, like you say, hopefully you'll be wanting to, to kick on from that because they've shown they can do, do it now. Yeah, exactly. And uh, like you said, we always look for the 17th of March, haven't we? And it, it's great if pre-season goes great, but that's what it's for. It's to understand where we need to improve on. And I think from the two town games, we have improved. We went through the middle on Swinton and and we controlled the ball a lot better and our discipline was better. So that's, that's the areas I want to improve and we did and we got the result on the back of it. Before we look ahead to the battle game, there was uh, it's obviously been a changing captain, but um, James Newton's... Now you're captain, pretty much a constant here, apart from that obviously one season down at, uh, through at Workington, pretty much been a constant here for almost a decade. Was it a, I don't imagine it would have been too difficult decision when, when that decision needed to be made? No, that's right. Newt is a, is a lad that's a, a vocal character in our, our squad. He, he's good for the players. He's, he's, he talks a lot uh, regarding our, our training, enthusiastic and stuff like. So it was, yeah, it was a fairly easy decision to make after, after we had to make it. Uh, he sort of does that job anyhow, he does a captain's role, he's a senior player and he's like you say, he's on his testimonial this year anyhow, so he's played at this, at this level mostly in championship for 10 years now, so Newt knows what it's about to be to be that senior person and he's, he's definitely he's doing the role and he's, 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 he'll be a good captain. So he, I suppose he, with that, he doesn't have to make too much a change to his game because, like you say, he does it pretty much off the field and on the field, or he has been doing it for years anyway. Well, well, that's right, and that's why he was, there was a few names cropped up when we talked about it and even previously so but I think this last few weeks he has stood up without really knowing it I think he's a good spokesman for the lads and and he's he's, he's a full-on professional he's, he's probably the, one of the fittest we've got so he leads by example at training and, and in the games we how we play so yeah it was, it was a easy decision to make James be captain. Looking forward to, to Butter. There's been some tight encounters in, in the last sort of last few seasons. I haven't been on the right end of them in the, in the last few of them. Obviously with the bash and then obviously the game down here on that on that Monday night. But Good Friday last year, you picked up the victory. So, um, like you say, it's 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 been one of them big encounters that it probably didn't have the the needle of a of a Cumbrian derby maybe in previous seasons, but in the last few seasons it certainly certainly has been. Yeah, we're actually enemies now, aren't we? I mean, apart from the bash, they have been tight the tight competitions. The, the done a job on us in the bash didn't they but other, other than that there's, well, there's been one score in the, most of the games and it could have went either way in most of them in all three of them games whatever it was so yeah we're looking forward to it good Friday down here with hopefully a good crowd and, a, and another good top contest against what well, our local rivals now in the, in the, in the championship with Wookiee not being in the champ so yeah it'd be good to, uh, it'd be good to go on, on Friday to be fair obviously you mentioned good to go How's the, how's the squad looking in sort of injury-wise? Uh, you, you sort of hinted when we spoke previously you were looking at trying to bring some bodies in 
for this week. Is that is that still ongoing as we speak? Yeah, it is. We're skinny as out now with, with some injuries we've picked up and 18, 19 players isn't enough, Jordan, and we're going into week two. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get a couple of players across the line for this week and they could easily feature on Friday. But like I say, I probably won't know till tomorrow. Maybe they'll have to be done by Wednesday with it being a day early, the, the, the game, the, the registration time. So we should know by Wednesday, didn't I, if we've got lads coming in or not. And like I say, looking at, at the fixture, what, what are you wanting from your sides? Obviously, you, you, rough, tough pitches looking still a little bit soft from following that game against uh, Swinton and, and the forecast isn't, isn't the best. So you'll be expecting a similar clash to Swinton where you expect it'll be right down the middle. Yeah, and, and I, what I want out of them is, is that last, the last 60 minutes of that game against Swinton, I want us to start like that against Barra because I, I thought we were, we were real good. We played the conditions really well. I thought the... Uh, like you said previously, there wasn't a lot of errors. So if, if we if we control the ball like that against Barra, we, we should be we should be okay.